So this MSI gaming monitor has been uh, unboxed and put together and is now hooked up to my computer. Let's take a look. Hi guys, it's Mark again. In this video, I got time to make a follow-up video from my unboxing setup video of the MSI Optics G27 C4 gaming monitor. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link of it in the description below and as well as end screens. So this video shows will talk about my use of this monitor so far. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see, um, I wanted a 27 inch monitor because I felt it would fit this setup on my desk uh, the best, 27 inch, as opposed to a 32, might be a little too big. This measures, you know, here to this end, that's about 23 inches in width. And then height wise from the base to the top is about 18 inches. It does have a nice thin bezel here. That's about a quarter inch bezel on the three sides of the monitor and when you get lower the bottom bezel is about an inch thick now you'll see that one of the things I this monitor doesn't have is a riser so I had to make shift these little one inch stands so that it would set up a little higher for me and you know a little bit of a clear reach the top of this desk part here um, but it does tilt. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, there, it's tilted all the way down. And then tilted all the way up. It does also tilt up, so it does have tilt, but it doesn't rise. Um, I do have it hooked up via display port in the back. I'll show you pictures of that. And I'm also using an HDMI on this uh, PC stick. So I have it hooked up on a display port as well as a HDMI cable for the PC stick. Looking at the settings, you can see here when I hit this button in the back, the red button, a nice menu screen is, greets you. I think it's well organized. Here at the right, you have some shortcuts. And then at the top, it tells you the monitor settings, which you can also change in display settings. Here on the very left, you can see monitor settings, the gaming, game mode, is night vision, your response time, anti-blur, fresh rate, alarm clock, screen assistance, uh, one of the features of this monitor. Uh, puts a little dot, I'll try to showcase that in a little bit. I just have this on game mode, different game modes you have, first person, racing, real strategy, RPG, world tactical strategy, and the user, or you can, I guess, create your own. I like to have an FPS. Professional, there's a pro mode, there's eye saving mode, HDR, CR, action blur. On pro mode, I usually, you know, have this in between cinema if I'm playing game or watching a movie. If not, I usually have it on reader because of the eye strain. Of course, you have the user settings. Here's a look at it in reader settings. It does dim out a little bit. It isn't as vivid or bright. So it's something if you're looking at the screen for hours, you should probably use down the image here is where you can adjust have some adjustment to it so brightness of the screen contrast sharpness and color temperature screen size 16 3 color temperature you know they have some preset ones such as warm here let me back up if we can take a look here that's warm, that's normal, and that's cool. I do have it on customization. If you want to take a look, I have this set at red at 54, green at 56, and blue at 48. That's the settings I like for this monitor. And then if you go further back, input source, you know, there's two HDMI ports and display port and then here's a navi key where you can create a shortcut 
if you press it up, down, left, or right, it can have these uh, different functions on the very right, such as brightness, game mode, screen assistance, alarm clock, input source, refresh rate, information screen. And then setting, you know, just your basic setting of uh, language transparency, OSDI timeout information, and resetting the whole thing. So that's a look at your navigation menu. I think it was very well planned out, easy to get used to. I also like the shortcuts uh, that they created. So if I'm switching between here and the PC stick, I just simply click right and I can switch between the two. That's nice. Then you just, to go back, you just press uh, left. If you press up, you can have the screen assistance. If you're playing gaming, you want it. That's nice too. Down changes the game mode. So there you can see the different settings and what it does to the screen. For some reason there's an alarm clock. Uh, I'm not sure, I probably won't be using this, but if it does, that's a nice shortcut there. Let me show you how to uh, get the refresh rate up to 165 in case you didn't know how to do that, as well as some settings you can do to your graphics card settings to help the display look better because you definitely have to change around the settings to get a better picture quality. Right off the box, there it's not as vivid, I guess, the colors. So let's get into the screen and we'll continue. All right, guys, so once you have your monitor put together and hooked up to your computer. First thing you want to have is hook this up to DisplayPort for best results and the fastest refresh rate. If you take a look right now upon hooking it up, you'll see that it is only right now at 60 hertz. To change that, all you got to do is go to your graphics software. In this case, I have NVIDIA. So I'm going to open up the NVIDIA settings. And then from here, you can see, you know, all it's at refresh rate is at 60, if you pull it down, you don't have anything to go higher. What you have to do is you have to go down to PC, choose your resolution, and then right away you can see that 165 is an option. And then you can also go a little lower if you wanted to. You have a choice of 144 or 120 with a display port. We'll do 165 and then just hit apply. Your confirmation, just say yes. And from there, you can double check hit the menu and you can see now that it does say 165 fresh rate so that's good another thing you'll probably want to do is go to your adjust desktop and color settings and down here uh, your digital vibrance uh, you might want to increase it I have mine set at 80 I think that's when the colors pop enough for me but of course it's going to vary for you I have some have it at 70 uh, I seem to like it at 80. So definitely mess around the settings, guys. Out of the box display needs some adjustments. Okay, so let's do a little speed online frame rate test just to show you that it does say, you know, frame rate 165, refresh rate 165, pixels at 6. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that I've seen a difference in my gameplay. My, uh, my kills have a pretty much doubled in some of the games I've been playing so I guess that makes me a little bit of a better gamer So let me put on the screen assistance. We'll use this one. So that's how the on-screen assistance kind of looks like with the uh, Amazon.
let's try another one real quick, and then we'll call it a uh, game. We'll try the red one here. Oh, it's defeated, so. So that's how the screen system works in this game, guys. Um, I personally don't use it that much. Um, sometimes I see it a little annoying, but it's a nice feature to have for this monitor. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to get back with you as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe to help this channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Mark. Thanks for checking out the YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Hey guys, one other thing to mention is that the screen does not have built-in speakers. Uh, it's not a big deal for me because I have my PC speakers hooked up to it. I just wanted to let those people know who are looking at this that unfortunately it doesn't have built-in speakers, but I mean, probably most of the time you'll be hooking up speakers to this anyways. Alright.